Well, for Michael Jordan, his legendary stature begins here at the University of North Carolina. Interestingly enough, when Michael came into college, he wasn't thought of as going to be the savior to North Carolina. North Carolina was already number one team in the nation. So all of a sudden, he comes into this talented team where he could develop and learn his skills and learn his craft. And I think that was the best thing for him. The game between North Carolina and Georgetown, this game is so important because you have three top 75 players playing in this game. Patrick Ewan was probably the premier player in college basketball, uh, along with James Worthy. Uh, and now you're adding Michael Jordan to the mix. Michael became a focal point with inside of the game that I don't know if Georgetown was aware of or was ready for. I think Michael Jordan hitting that game winning shot propelled him uh, into a great stratosphere of confidence. This is where he honed his skills to become the greatest basketball player that we've ever seen. Later tonight, the Superdome will be celebrating a new national champion. Now, let's go over to tonight's public address announcer, Tommy Edwards. Fans, welcome to the college championship game. Today's matchup, the Georgetown Warriors and the North Carolina Tar Heels. For Georgetown, at power forward, standing six foot eight, number 12, Harold McCray. the point at six feet three number 32 Adam Barnett. for Georgetown at shooting guard at six feet three number 14 Roy Duncan for North Carolina starting at the small forward at six foot six inches Number 51, Greg Bateman. For Georgetown, at the other forward position, at six foot six inches, number 31, John Nash. For North Carolina, the man in the middle, number 41. 6'9", 224 pound sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, Sam Perkins. For Georgetown at guard, number 21, 6'3", 170 pound senior from Gastonia, North Carolina, Eric Ford. For North Carolina at guard, number 23, 6'5", 189 pound freshman from Wilmington, North Carolina, Michael For Georgetown, the man in the middle, number 33, 7 feet, 220 pound freshman from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Pat Ewing. Number 52, 6'9", 219 pound junior from Gastonia, North Carolina, James Murphy. Hi everyone, welcome to New Orleans in the 1982 NCAA Championship Game. Featuring the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Georgetown Hoyle. I could tell both these schools hungry for a national title. For Big John Thompson in Georgetown, this would be their first ever national championship. A chance for Sleepy Floyd, Patrick Ewing and company to go down in history. And on the other side for North Carolina, this would be their first title card since 1957. Well, they have had a few second place finishes, including last year. Yo, this is so crazy. The Tar Heels really Let's get it. You know what time it is. They're hoping James Worthy and Michael Jordan. Those talented freshmen, they will have a lot to say about who wins tonight. Let's get it. 
And the tip -off goes NCAA Division I Championship, the first Jordan Challenge. Boyd and Roy Duncan with John Nash and Harold McCray at the forward. And star Pat Ewing is the Let's see. UNC, Ooh, first shot with Michael MJ. Jordan at the guard His side. jumper is kind of slow from Forward, last year. -American, James Worthy. <laughs> and Sam Perkins is the center. Clark Ewing and Jordan. Incredible freshman. 2K Bell and these boys out already. Uh, I thought these Jordan challenges was going to be sweet, but we actually got to try hard. <laughs> Just crazy. Oh, look at that. I'm going all the way. With MJ. This is what I like this. Uh, we ain't going for none of that, sir. Look at that. Mismatch expert. While older players like James Worthy might be the leader of UNC, youngster Michael Jordan is the fire of the Tar Heels. And how unique is it? We don't often see a freshman, Mike, starting in the national championship game. Jordan certainly a guy to keep an eye on. He's an incredible athlete and a tremendous Patrick Ewing. Driving in. Look at that. Ooh. This is the one-handed flush. I tried it. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Well, we know Floyd is a gifted and lethal scorer. He just needs a little bit of space to get his shot off. Here's Jordan. Does Jordan got it out there for him? I don't think he does. Jordan's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field. Pass to Duncan. Ewing with it. Oh, give me that. We got to double him. And stolen by Jordan. Over Duncan. Outside Worthy. Back to Jordan. Almost threw up a bad shot. Come on, MJ. Ah. Another shot. This James Worthy. Put that man in a body bag. Under the rim, you going in. Now the Hoyers with it. It's a three-point game. Floyd goes to you. Over Perkins. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I forgot you can hang on the rim. <laughs> Mess around and get a tech. Jordan. Look at that. Ah. The fader. Come on. Jordan's got eight points. You got that mid range going. Oh, I got him jumping. There we go. There we go. How about this? He worked the construction job. Perkins trying to add strength, and we'll see how much it helps in his battle with Pat Ewing down low. Would I actually shoot this? Duncan against Jordan. Pass to McCray. A very patient possession. They're in no hurry. From 12 feet out. All right, Michael got a rebound. We need eight more of those. There's no shot clock. We can take as long as we want to get a shot. I can stall out if I want to. Let's see what James Worthy got in his bag. Come here. Worthy's got six. Using his size in the paint, Worthy makes good use of his physical gifts. Floyd passes to Duncan. Here's Floyd. Back to Duncan. Here's Floyd. We're up. We got 18 to their 11. Shoots from 12. It's hard in by the Tar Heel. 
Jordan deciding where to go with it. Oh, I'm leaning with Michael. Ah. Oh, that almost went in. Ewing's got four rebounds now tonight. The Hoyas trail by seven. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. McLean and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. On the free throw, no good. And the Tar Heels make I need six more points with MJ. And the Hoyas making a change here. Well, this UNC team, they're known for their delay game. Without a shot clock, oh, can he knock that down? In turn, will shorten the games. And you know, Mike, that style can my teammates shoot? For them this season, North Carolina has won 15 straight games and overall 31 and 2. Nash outside. Passes to four. Back to Nash. Here's Bailey. Here's McCray. Right, we can't never get a rebound. By six. Oh, look at that. I'm getting all the way. Here's Jordan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Perry I like that Jordan won't back away. He doesn't back off. Two. Even against tough defense, he takes They got to foul me. That's a green free throw. First free throw Perfect release. And the Hoyas with some changes. Davis has checked in for McCray. And it's Here's Jordan. And that one goes off. The Hoyas trail by 12. Give me that. He's just running. Worthy dishes to Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Top of key. From NBA, That's three point range. Green zone. Make five perfect releases in a single game. Jordan appears headed to starter. No, Mr. Ewing, we ain't going for none of that. Throw the hoop. Throw the hoop. He is 6'9", about 220 pounds, and he has a very rare combination of speed and agility. It's really hard for defenses to keep up with him. And young Michael Jordan, born in Brooklyn. Clark, he grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina. Mm, that's out of bounds. to development is different Jordan come on and North Carolina with another miss Cardinal well, seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed to yes sir I'm sure coach couldn't be happier with the results he's seen here's green and no good had a chance to take the lead there we go MJ got him a and here's North Carolina now at one point they led by 16 out left of the wing. Here's Come on. There we go. MJ getting assist. Barnett's got his first two points of the night. Boy, Jordan just sees everything. Great awareness. And he makes quick decisions. Weber, the pass to Green. They set the pick. And the Hornets with some changes. McCray has come in for Green. Davis is up to Jordan. The turnaround. That turnaround was slow, but it's still going to go. <laughs> it's shooting in a dome. Maybe not the case for Jordan, though. The guy for Georgetown tonight, the sensational freshman, Patrick Ewing. For more, let's go over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Now, remember. No, don't foul. Don't foul. North Carolina. Instead, he's powering the Hoyas to their first title game appearance since 1943. He's the, the most dominant defensive force in college basketball. A seven-footer with incredible quickness. Ewing already has NBA GM salivating. Georgetown is very lucky that he picked the Hoyas. So I got I to gotta get it right. Here's Floyd. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. Floyd's got 12 in the game. If Georgetown wants to win, Floyd has got to be aggressive and score the ball. Come on. He's the guy that is Michael Jeffrey, we got to get him. He's an absolute force. That's for certain. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for Georgetown. 
In last year's title game in Philadelphia, North Carolina dropped it to Isaiah Thomas and in Indiana 63-50. Two-point game. Michael definitely doesn't have quick chain on because I cannot quick chain these moves. Like I said, look at this. Something that makes Michael Jordan's performance even more impressive. He's only a freshman. And here he is in the starting five of the finals. I need three more rebounds with Michael Jeffrey. Come on. Cause a miss. Come on. No. You just stole my board. Ah, now I'm bored. So I'm going to just go to the rim. Michael Jeffrey. No relations to Jeffrey from Fresh Prince. He's just Jeffrey. But this is Michael Jeffrey. Well, behind the back again. Hey. We expected that from Michael. He's a big game player. And boy, Jordan's been huge tonight. No. That was a rebound. And he got his take. Oh, man. We got to keep scoring. Because <laughs> we can't play. Our defense is trash. We can't stop Patrick Ewing. Look. Jordan inside. Covered by no, he's too little. Come on. Oh, no. I smoked. Oh. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for Georgetown. The pass to four. Let me use my lock take on Patrick. Perkins against Ewing. Oh my, he's cooking. He is cooking these boys. This young man can carry the load for you offensively. And he can do it all night. Go behind the back. I gotta abuse it. What a finish. A devastating punch. They can't afford to Mike is turned up. So I gotta get turned up. Absolutely. Yeah, there was a statement behind that dunk. One that says Come on, force a miss. Force a miss. Come on. Come on. Okay, that counted as a rebound. That counted as a rebound. North Carolina leading. Oh, one man to beat. There's nobody in the paint. There's nobody in the paint. I'm going to abuse him. I'm going to hit him with a turnaround. It's take over time. Overly complicating what was already a good look. Post him up. We need a miss. I need two rebounds. Go ahead and shoot something. I'm there. Double team on you. Let him shoot that. He don't want to shoot it. They want to post Ewing up. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, this man is crazy. I need one more. I need two more boards. To get all three stars. Oh, behind the back. Oh, I got that rebound back. Let's get it. Look at this. Y'all boys, it's too little. I need one more board, though. I need one more board. Come on, force a miss. Force that miss, come on. No, no, no. Look at this, get off me. Hey. All right, we need one more board, literally one board. One board for all three stars. Here's Floyd, Duncan right side. Tell him shoot it, nah. Here's Ewing. There we go. Jordan's got nine rebounds now tonight. 
Just excellent work on the glass for Jordan. There we go. For him on the backboards. Exactly what the Tar Heels needed in this title game. MJ is going for 60. Trail by 11. Pass to Ewing. Here's Foy. Duncan outside. Pass to Ewing. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Behind the back. To the left wing. Mm. Barnett passes to Jordan. Over Duncan. Jordan's shot is off. The Hoyas trail by 11. Pass to four. Boy, been cold all second half. Or half of the second half. Overworthy. No good from Ewing. You know, on that shot, I'd like to see him go straight up with it. Worthy kicks to Jordan. Get out the way. Pat Ewing. Is on MJ. I gotta blow by him. He got a foul. Oh, we should have grabbed him. Weber in for four. Inside, here's Green, and Green defends it in. Love seeing this kind of interior passing. This is how you break a defense down. Now, Jordan. Jordan is double. Pass to Adams. Let's see if he got one. And Davis pulls it down. I think they've simply run out of time. Not enough time. Them boys out here doubling, though. That's so yeah, crazy. Fresh to come back at this point. Now, here is Weber. He's guarded closely. Passes it to Davis. Here's Bailey. 13 feet away. And he hits the jumper for two. Bailey's got it back down to within single digits for the Hoyas. And so it looks like North Carolina will retain possession here. Take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect for it. We might as well get ready to celebrate. Cause game's over. And here is Jordan. And the North Carolina Tar Heels are national champion. What a season. 32 and 2. Now a national title to make it complete. James Worthy, Michael Jordan, Sam Perkins. It was a blend of youth and experience for UNC. And for the Hoyas Club, a bitter defeat. But they'll be back. Kevin, as long as they have Pat Ewing, I think Georgetown makes another title run next year. I agree. Oh, Hey, that's the first Jordan challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and you know what time it is. We will catch you on the next one. I need handles for days on. I need handles for days on. Because I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. Look at that. I'm too fast. That downhill Hall of Fame. Oh, give me that. I'm running pockets. I'm all the way.